Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an amazing tutorial on how to create an SSH direct server account and set it up on the ZivPN app. For more VPN hidden tricks, make sure to visit our blog. If you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Let's get started. To begin, open your favorite web browser and visit the SSH Ocean website. Once you're on the home page, you'll see a hamburger icon in the top right corner. Click on it to reveal the menu. Now navigate to the services section and click on it. A list of menus will appear. Look for SSH Direct and select it to proceed. Next, you'll need to choose a server location for your SSH Direct server. Click on the Select Location button to make your choice. Once you've picked your desired server location, a list of available servers will be displayed. Click on the Create Label button next to the server you want. After selecting the server, it's time to confirm your choice. Click on the Create button to proceed. Now you'll need to set up your account. Provide a username and password, and make sure to check the reCAPTCHA box for security. Then click on the Create Now button to create your server. Congratulations, you've successfully created your SSH Direct Server account. Make sure to copy the server details like host, username, and password, and save them to a notepad. You'll need these for setting up your VPN. Next, let's set up the ZivPN app on your device. Go to your device's Play Store and search for ZivPN. Find it in the results and click on it. Then, click the Install button to download the app onto your device. Once the installation is complete, open it and you will reach the app's homepage. On the app homepage, click the upper left hamburger icon to expand the menu list and then click on SSH setting. Now, paste the details you copied earlier, username, password, and host or IP address. Enter port 80 or choose from the list of servers in the app. When all the data is filled or pasted correctly, click the start button to connect to the secure web connection. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.